Today, I'm bringing you something that you seriously need to hear. We're going to talk about sexual tension and attraction. And don't come to me with excuses, because it's time to stop being those guys that women look at and think, what a shame. Today, your best friend in this chaotic world of relationships is going to open your eyes. Before we get started, if you're here, it's because you're looking for answers, right? So don't just sit there staring. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. If you don't, you'll keep being that guy who has no idea how to attract a woman. Trust me, you need this information if you want to stop wasting your time and energy on things that don't work. So let's get to it. Do you want to create sexual tension and increase attraction? Do you want her to feel that spark when you're near? Good. Then pay attention to these 10 foolproof techniques that I guarantee will change your life. But a word of warning. I'm going to be tough because I'm tired of seeing you guys put effort into useless things and still get rejected. So brace yourselves because this won't be easy to hear. One, awaken desire with just one look. Look, man, if you can't use your eyes to say more than a thousand words, you've already lost. Women read your eyes, and I'm not talking about that sad puppy look you've been giving. No, I'm talking about a look that says, I know what I want, and I want you. It's a mix of confidence and desire. But don't confuse this with staring at her like she's a piece of meat because that'll sink you faster than the Titanic. Awaken desire with a firm look that silently says what you really think, and you'll see how the dynamics change. 2. How to use flirting to ignite passion. Flirting isn't just throwing out a cheap compliment or a forced pickup line. No, flirting is an art. And if you don't know how to do it, you're missing out on opportunities. Flirting is playing, teasing her without making it obvious. It's making her wonder what's on your mind without laying it all out there. It's about implying, not saying. So next time you talk to her, forget that boring, how was your day conversation and start using your wit. Make her laugh, surprise her, play with your words. Attraction is born from that spark that a well-executed flirt can ignite. 3. The power of proximity. Get close and attract without saying a word. If you don't know how to handle proximity, you're missing one of the most powerful weapons to generate sexual tension. And no, I'm not saying you should cling to her like glue. Please, it's subtle. It's about being close enough so she feels your presence, but not so much that you seem desperate. It's about creating that magnetic field between you two. When you're near her, do it with intention without fear. But be careful, because if you don't manage this well, you'll only make her feel uncomfortable. Learn to calibrate and feel out that personal space. Make her want to be closer to you. For body language, the key to creating irresistible tension. Your body says more than you think. And if you're walking around hunched over with slumped shoulders, looking like a defeated man, now you know why you keep getting rejected. Body language is key. If you want to attract, you need to show yourself as a confident man. Stand up straight, keep your head high, and walk with purpose. I'm not saying you need to move like a robot. It's about showing that you know what you want and are sure of yourself. Every gesture counts. Play with your hands, don't be stiff, but don't overdo it either. The key is finding that balance that makes you look irresistible without seeming forced. 5. The secret of subtle touches that will drive her wild. Listen closely. Subtle touches can make the difference between her seeing you as a friend or desiring you. And I'm not talking about groping her, that would be disgusting. I'm talking about light, almost imperceptible touches that awaken her skin. A touch on her back as you walk beside her. A brush against her arm while you're telling her something interesting. It's those subtle moments that create tension. Do it wrong and you'll look like a creep. Do it right and you'll see how her attitude towards you changes. 6. Keep her attention and make her want more. Do you want her to think about you even when you're not around? Then you better learn how to keep her attention. And you won't do it by being boring. You need to be interesting, mysterious, not give everything away at once. If you're always available, always saying the same things, always doing what she wants, she'll get bored. Make her wonder what's coming next. Keep her intrigued. If you can keep her interest, you've won half the battle. 7. How to push her to the edge without saying a word. There are moments when words aren't necessary. If you really know how to handle sexual tension, you'll be able to push her to the edge without even speaking. Learn to read her signals. Learn to master silence. Well-managed silences can be more powerful than any phrase. It's in those moments where the chemistry feels strongest. The challenge here is having the confidence to stay quiet and let the looks, the gestures, and the closeness speak for you. 8. The importance of prolonged eye contact to create attraction. Do you know how powerful prolonged eye contact can be? It's one of the fastest ways to create sexual tension. When you hold eye contact, you're telling her without words that you're interested, 
that you're there, that you're bold. But be careful, don't look at her like a stalker. Hold your gaze naturally, but firmly. The trick is not to break it too quickly. Insecure men are the ones who can't hold a gaze, so if you don't want to be seen as one of them, start practicing this now. 9. Turn a casual conversation into pure sensuality. If you don't know how to turn a simple conversation into something that sparks attraction, you've got a lot to learn. This is where tone, pauses, and hints come into play. You could be talking about the most mundane things, but if you know how to use your voice, how to make those strategic pauses, and how to let your words suggest more than they say, you'll turn any conversation into a playground full of sexual tension. 10. The art of playing with expectations. How to make her want you more. If you really want her to desire you, you have to learn how to play with her expectations. Don't give her everything at once. Don't be predictable. Play with anticipation. Make her wonder what's coming next. Make her want more from you. Because, let me tell you, when everything is easy and predictable, attraction fades. But if you play your cards right, you'll keep her in that perfect spot of wanting more. If you've made it this far, let me know by commenting 100% below, or drop a comment so I know you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more valuable topics, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it later. Let's keep going. How to know if she wants more. The signs you can't ignore. How many times have you been with a woman and had no idea if she wanted something more or not? It happens to you all the time, right? Well, today we're going to change that. Because, let's face it, if you don't know how to spot these signs, you'll keep being the guy who always wonders, who goes home alone thinking, what could have been? And frankly, we're tired of seeing you so clueless. One, is she looking at you with desire? Learn to spot flirting, listen up, because if you can't tell when a woman is looking at you with desire, you're going to keep missing all the signals. A look says it all. If she's locking eyes with you repeatedly, that's no coincidence. But this is where many of you mess up. You get nervous, break eye contact, and there goes your chance. If she's looking at you, hold her gaze with confidence. Not like a creep. Learn to read that spark in her eyes, that glow that's silently telling you, I'm into you. 2. The body language that screams, I want you. Sometimes, women won't tell you with words, but their body will say everything. If she's leaning in when you talk, if her feet are pointed in your direction, or if her posture changes every time you get close, bro, there's something there. But, of course, if you can't read body language, you'll keep thinking she's just being nice. If her body is open towards you, if she's looking for ways to be closer, open your eyes. She's telling you, without speaking, that she wants to be near you. Pay attention to how she moves, because that can say more than any boring conversation. 3. When she gets close. Attraction indicators you can't miss if she's finding ways to be physically closer to you. That's a crystal clear sign. It's not a coincidence. It's not that the place was crowded and she had nowhere else to go. Come on. If she's breaking her personal space to be near you, it's because she wants you to notice. And this is where you guys screw it up. Instead of using that moment to subtly reciprocate, you back off as if you're scared. Don't do that. If she's getting closer, it's because she wants you to respond to her approach. Four. Her smile says more than you think. Keys to reading it right a smile can be just that. A smile. But if you look closely, it could mean a lot more. If she's smiling at you constantly, if there's a sparkle in her eyes when she does, she's flirting. Don't fool yourself into thinking all smiles are innocent. That playful grin, that teasing look she sometimes gives you with a deep gaze, that's pure flirting. Don't ignore it because when a woman smiles like that, it's because she wants you to make a move to understand she's interested. But if you have no idea how to interpret this, you'll keep thinking she's just being friendly. 5. The way she plays with her hair. Flirting or nervousness? Ah, uh, the classic hair play. Many confuse it with nervousness or overlook it, but if she's twirling her hair around her fingers, stroking it while talking to you, that's flirting. And if you don't know this, you're missing out on an obvious signal. It's no coincidence, guys. A woman who's attracted to you will unconsciously start playing with her hair to get your attention. So instead of thinking it's a meaningless gesture, start realizing what's actually going on. 6. The accidental touches. Is she trying something? There's no such thing as an accidental touch. If she touches your arm when she laughs, if her hands brush against yours as she passes by, that's no coincidence. Don't fool yourself. Women don't touch a man unless they feel some kind of attraction. It's their subtle way of creating a physical bridge between you. If you notice she touches you frequently, even if it's light, that's a clear sign she's trying something. And that's where you need to respond. Of course, don't act desperate. 
but start returning those subtle touches so she knows you're on the same wavelength. 7. Does she keep reaching out to you? Here's what it means if she's reaching out to you, texting you, calling you, asking to meet up. Bro, do you need it written on a sign? She's into you. If she's putting in the effort to stay in touch, it's not because she's bored. It's because she's thinking about you and wants to be around you. But here's where many of you mess up, thinking she's just being nice or that she has nothing better to do. No, if a woman is seeking you out, it's because she wants more. Learn to recognize that and act accordingly. 8. Silence speaks. The subtle signs that reveal her interest silence, when handled well, can say a lot. If suddenly, in the middle of a conversation, there's a comfortable silence between you and she doesn't seem uncomfortable, that's your moment. You don't need to fill every pause with words. If she's silent but holding your gaze or smiling shyly, she's waiting for you to make a move. Learn to read those moments. Silence can be the sign that she's ready for something more, but if you don't pick up on it, the opportunity will slip away. 9. Does she change her voice? A clear sign of attraction pay attention to the tone of her voice. If when she talks to you, her voice softens or becomes more melodic, she's flirting without you even noticing. The tone of voice changes when a woman is attracted to someone. Stop thinking every conversation is the same. If you notice her voice getting sweeter or a bit more intimate when she talks to you, it's because she's sending you signals. But if you keep being that guy who doesn't know how to listen, you'll never figure out what's really going on. 10. Learn to see beyond words. The clear body language signs, guys, you need to learn to see beyond what she says. Words are often just a smokescreen. It's the body language that really counts. If her body leans towards you, if she's crossing and uncrossing her legs while looking at you, if she's playing with her necklace or any accessory while listening to you, all of that is an invitation. But if you're still stuck on what she's saying and don't notice what she's doing, you'll never make progress. If you've made it this far, my man, comment below with 100% or something to let me know you've absorbed the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and share it later. Let's keep going. Step-by-step -step guide to awaken desire in the woman of your dreams. Today, I'm here to tell you what many need to hear. If you haven't yet sparked desire in that woman you like so much, it's because you're doing something wrong. And I'm here to fix that. How many more times are you going to keep trying in vain? It's time to stop being that guy who always stays in the friend zone or just doesn't know how to move forward. Today, you're going to learn how to capture her attention and take things to the next level. Ready? Because this is going to be a good dose of reality. Here are the steps that really work. And yes, I'm going to tell it like it is because we're tired of making the same mistakes. If you follow what I'm about to share, not only will she notice you, but she'll start wanting to be closer to you. Let's dive into the first step. 1. How to spark her curiosity with just one sentence listen closely. If you can't spark her curiosity right from the start, you're already out of the game. How many times have you tried to start a conversation and it just ends up being typical and boring? Well, there's your problem. If you want her to start thinking about you, you have to give her something intriguing, something that makes her want to know more. Don't give everything away at once, no. Throw in a sentence that leaves something unsaid, that makes her wonder what else you have to say. Something like, you know, there's something about you that surprises me, but I'm not quite sure what it is yet. That's going to spark her curiosity. The key is to leave her thinking, what does he mean by that? 2. The Art of Flirting Step-by-step step to capture her attention flirting is an art, and you're probably doing it wrong. Flirting isn't about bombarding her with compliments or acting like a clown to make her laugh. No, it's a subtle game where both are involved, and you have to learn how to guide that game. Start with lighthearted comments and playful jokes with a touch of cheekiness. Let her realize that you're not like the rest, that you know how to keep a conversation fun but interesting. Play with words, provoke a little but don't cross into vulgar territory. The trick is to always leave her wanting more of that interaction. 3. From casual conversation to sexual tension. How to make the shift this is where many get lost. They're talking about everyday stuff and don't know how to transition from a casual conversation to something charged with sexual tension. And no, you can't make this shift abruptly. It's about changing the tone, making more intimate and personal comments. Start talking about how you perceive certain things about her, details that perhaps no one else has noticed. Make her feel like you see beyond the obvious. The shift happens when she feels the conversation has become more personal. That's when you start to generate that tension. 4. Create anticipation and make her crave every moment with you. This is the most common mistake. Being too predictable. If you're always available, if you always say the same things, if there's never a change in the dynamic, 
she'll get bored. You have to learn how to build anticipation. Don't always be at her disposal. Make her wait sometimes. Make her wonder when you'll reach out or what will happen the next time you're together. If you can make her look forward to the next encounter, you've won a big part of the game. It's about playing with her desire to be with you, but not giving her everything at once. 5. The Power of Eye Contact How to make her feel desired eye contact is one of the most powerful tools you have to awaken desire in a woman. But here's the thing. If you look away too quickly or constantly avert your gaze, you'll seem insecure. And if you stare too much, you might scare her off. The trick is to hold her gaze just long enough for her to feel that connection, to know that you desire her without making it uncomfortable. That deep gaze, when done right, can make her feel like you really see her, that you desire her, and that's key to sparking her interest. 6. Break the ice and make her desire grow now. Let's talk about how to break the ice. If you stick to the same boring conversations or come across as nervous, she'll notice. Breaking the ice is simple if you know how to do it. Surprise her. Do something unexpected. Change the subject out of nowhere, or even throw in a comment that catches her off guard, but in a clever way. When you manage to break the ice, she'll start to relax and, most importantly, feel like being with you is fun and unpredictable. And believe me, women love that feeling. 7. Touch her mind first. Then her body if you can't touch her mind. Forget about everything else. A mistake many make is trying to go for physical contact too quickly. If you do this, you'll come across as desperate. You need to connect with her mentally first. Make her think. Make her feel like there's a deeper connection between you that goes beyond the surface. When she feels that you understand her on a deeper level, that's when she'll truly open up to physical contact. But if you don't reach her mind first, nothing else will matter. 8. Make her feel unique. And she'll want more of you. This is one of the most important points. Make her feel unique. And I don't mean throwing out empty compliments. She has to feel that there's something about her that fascinates you, something you don't see in any other woman. You need to show her that you notice things about her that others ignore, that you're genuinely interested in who she is, not just how she looks. When you make a woman feel unique, she'll start to see you differently and, most importantly, she'll want to be around you more often. 9. Turn every moment into an opportunity to build attraction If you don't know how to turn every moment into an opportunity to create attraction, then you're missing valuable chances. From a simple conversation to a walk or a date, there are always ways to increase the tension and make the desire grow. Use humor, mystery, surprise. Every moment is an opportunity to build more attraction, to keep her interested and wanting to spend more time with you. Don't waste those moments by staying stuck in the same routine. 10. How to play with pauses to ignite tension Let's talk about pauses. Well-timed pauses can be as powerful as words. Don't fill every silence with unnecessary chatter. Learn to let silence do its work, to let the tension build in those moments. A pause at the right time, accompanied by an intense look, can make her feel that spark everyone is searching for. Pauses give her space to process what's happening, to anticipate what's coming next. Play with them, and you'll see how the sexual tension skyrockets. If you've made it this far, my friend, comment below with the word 100% or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the wisdom of this video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it later. Let's keep going. Create sexual tension naturally with these simple nonverbal gestures. If you think it's all about what you say, you're wrong. In fact, often it's what you don't say that has the most impact. We're going to talk about nonverbal gestures, those small movements that can make a woman feel incredibly strong sexual tension without you saying a single word. Yes, guys, you think it's all in the words, but if you can't control your body language, you're already off to a bad start. Pay attention because I'm going to show you how to use these simple nonverbal gestures to create sexual tension naturally and effortlessly. 1. The art of the slow touch. How to make her feel every second this is where most of you fail. You either move too fast or don't touch at all. The slow touch is a tool that, when used right, can make her think about you all day. It's not just about touching her, it's how you do it. Don't jump straight into the physical. Start light, a brush of her fingers, a touch on the small of her back as you walk together. Do it slowly, as if you're creating a moment both of you will remember. Every second counts when you do it right. If you touch her quickly and thoughtlessly, she'll see you as clumsy and clueless. If you do it slowly, you'll leave a lasting impression she won't forget. 2. When looks speak louder than words if you don't know how to use your eyes, forget about creating tension. The look is everything. When you're talking to her, your eyes need to say what your words can't. It's not just about looking at her. 
It's about holding her gaze long enough for her to feel there's something more, but without making her uncomfortable. And most importantly, don't look away too quickly, because that shows insecurity. Keep eye contact, and at key moments, let your eyes tell her exactly what you're thinking. The right look can create more desire than any compliment you could think of. 3. Ignite her desire with a smile full of intent. A smile can work wonders, but not just any smile. If you smile like a goof, the only thing you'll achieve is making her think you're just friendly, and that's not going to create any sexual tension. Your smile needs to have intent. It should be a mix of confidence and a hint of mischief. The kind of smile she sees and wonders what you're thinking. Don't look at her with a silly grin. Smile like you're enjoying the moment and know something she doesn't. That's the kind of smile that sparks curiosity and desire. For how to use proximity to create electricity in the air if you don't understand the power of proximity, you're missing out on one of the most powerful tools you have. Being close enough to her so she feels your presence, but not so close that you invade her personal space, is key to building tension. The electricity in the air happens when you both know you're close enough for something to happen, but neither of you makes the first move. Learn to play with distance, get closer, then pull back at the right moment. If you do this right, she'll start to feel that tension without you saying a word. 5. The secret of gaze that melts and builds tension were back to the eyes, but this time more specific. Not all gazes are the same, and not all create the same effect. Some gazes melt her. And yes, that's the one you need to learn. When you're with her, don't just look into her eyes. Let your gaze drop for a second to her lips, then back to her eyes. This sends a crystal clear message of desire without you needing to say a word. That's the look that will make her start thinking about you in a completely different way. 6. Play with space and build anticipation you don't always have to be right next to her. In fact, knowing when to create space is crucial. Pull away at strategic moments, make her miss you even during a conversation. Anticipation builds when you're not always available, when you're not always right by her side. Learn to control the timing and space so that when you come close again, the tension has naturally grown. If you're always there, if you're always the same, you're not creating anything. Play with moments and distance to build desire. 7. The touch that leaves a mark. How to make her think about you all day if you're wondering how to make a woman think about you when you're not around. The answer is in a simple touch, but not just any touch. It's about a touch that leaves a mark, not invasive, but intimate enough that she remembers it. It could be a light brush on her arm while talking, or a subtle touch on her leg while laughing together. The key is to do it in a way she doesn't expect, but that leaves her thinking about that small contact. Trust me, if you do it right, she'll think about you all day. 8. The Silent Connection How to create attraction without saying a word silence is your ally when you know how to use it. You don't always have to be talking to create tension. In fact, sometimes the silence between you can be more powerful than any words. A well-handled silence with the right eye contact and the right proximity can make the tension soar. Most men fill silences because they don't know what to do with them. Not you. You're going to let the silence speak for you because in those moments, that's when she starts thinking about what's really going on between the two of you. 9. The power of a whisper at the right moment Don't underestimate the power of a whisper. When you're close to her, instead of talking to her out loud like you're chatting with a buddy, Lean in and whisper something in her ear. It doesn't even have to be anything important, but the fact that you lower your voice and move close to her ear creates an instant connection. A whisper is intimate, it's personal, and if you do it at the right moment, it'll make her feel something beyond just a simple conversation. 10. How to use your body to speak the language of desire Don't forget that your body talks, and it talks louder than your words. If your body language doesn't communicate desire, you're wasting your time. Don't stand there stiff like a statue, Use your body to move closer to her naturally. Keep a firm but relaxed posture. Don't slouch. Don't come off as nervous. Every little movement counts. How you sit, how you lean towards her, how you use your hands when you talk. All of this creates an atmosphere of tension if done right. Desire is communicated through the body, not words.